Welcome to today's podcast. I'm Dennis Shao, and today we will be talking about ocean dead zones. We will be talking about what they are, how they affect the environment, how they affect us, and what we're doing about them so far. So, what are ocean dead zones? Ocean dead zones are areas where the water is hypoxic. This means that the water doesn't have enough oxygen for animals to live there. According to Christine de la Moore in the article Biggest Dead Zone in the Gulf of Mexico, this is caused by fertilizer runoff from farms. When farmers use fertilizers, some of the fertilizer gets washed off of fields and into rivers. The fertilizer flows down the river and into the ocean. This causes an algal bloom. Bacteria start decomposing the algae and this uses up all of the oxygen. When the oxygen level goes below 2 mg of oxygen for every liter of water, animals such as fish leave, while other creatures such as clams die, according to Delamore. Scientists are also finding that ocean dead zones also affect fish in other ways. According to Kerr Than in the article Female Fish Develop Testes, Atlantic croakers caught in the Gulf of Mexico had some problems caused by the large dead zone there. Some of these problems included unbalanced amounts of male fish to female fish, as well as having birth rates go from an average of 80% all the way down to 10%. According to Professor Prosanta Chakrabarty, a fish biologist at the Louisiana State University, the findings about the Atlantic croaker quote, could be generalized to any advanced bony fish, end quote. Luckily for the Humboldt squid, ocean dead zones seem to have the opposite effect on them. The Humboldt squid, also known as the jumbo squid, seem to actually favor the dead zones. According to Catherine Harmon in the article, Humboldt squid seem to be thriving, thanks to ocean dead zones. The large squid that can, quote, eat pretty much all they want, end quote, seem to be flourishing. This squid used to be rare in San Diego, but now has spread all the way to Alaska. Their larger population has caused the number of fish to go down. All of these changes are hurting our fishing industry. Fisheries are being heavily affected with the fish hatching rates low and the increase in predator. Harmon also states that, quote, there's a very strong evidence that squid expansion has had a huge impact on fisheries, end quote. This means the costs of fish are going up while there are cuts in fisheries and related businesses. According to the article Oceans Impact the Economy, one out of six jobs are ocean related and that one third of the US GDP, gross domestic product, comes from coastal areas. This means that one third of our GDP is being affected and that one out of six jobs are in danger of being cut. Charles Jago, a toxicologist at Florida A&M University, said that, quote, if these conditions are interfering with fish reproduction, it could cause population declines and have an impact on fisheries resources and the economies of fishing communities, end quote. If fisheries are impacted and the economy of fishing communities go down, this could cause the economy of the entire country to go down. One of the only things that are trying to stop ocean dead zones is the Farm Bill, which is a bill that provides funding for researching that benefits farming as well as teaching farmers ways to reduce their environmental impact, according to the USDA page for the Farm Bill. The Farm Bill teaches farmers ways to manage their fields to reduce the amount of fertilizers going into the rivers. We need to contact our local politicians to pass bills to authorize funding for programs that stop ocean dead zones from happening. If we all work together, we can prevent this economical and environmental crisis from happening. Thank you for listening to today's podcast. If you would like to learn more about this issue, you can go check out these websites. 